Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth sincerity. All right, this is 2 Timothy 3 and 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium at Lystra, were persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Verse 12, Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. All right. And I want to get into this uh, video that the brother just put in the group text during this whole Philadelphia melee. The, the, the shooting, the rioting, all right? And it looks like Esau is up to his uh, dirty tricks once again, all right? Um, but then it could be a bunch of unruly Israelites who can't control their spirit. So you see the title of this. Let's just play this right quick. What y'all doing down here? You don't live here. You don't live here. Y'all know, y'all know these. We the real Jews, right? No, don't go. This ain't y'all fight. Y'all go. Okay. We good. Let's walk. Let's walk. Yo, start shit. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Trash, come. Philly waking up. Revelation two and nine, the synagogue of Satan. Amalek. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there, man. All right, I'm going to another scripture. This is um. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." And it seems like Esau is just trying to label us with, you know, Black Lives Matter, because you got a bunch of Jakes. All right, and who 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 does um who do you who do who who does who does Jake know about Amalek through the Hebrew Israelites? Okay, how does Jake know about Revelation two and ten? All right, I mean. That's Revelation, um, matter of fact, let's get it, you know, I don't want to butcher it, <clears throat> alright, Revelation chapter 2, what was that, Revelation 3, excuse me, but, you know, it looks like as if Esau, alright, trying to, um, Label the Hebrew Israelites with Black Lives Matter, all right? So, um, let's get that word synagogue. All right, this is uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but they are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. This is twofold. This is talking about the wicked Israelites back during this time and, you know, Amalek, the so-called Jew. So who else does Jake know this from? All right, the Hebrew Israelites. All right, and that just looks like clearly... You know, like a setup. This whole Philadelphia thing, man, it just seems like one big setup, all right? One big setup that Esau's trying to pull out. You know, he's trying to do a lot of things. Um, you know, uh, kill two birds with one stone, a lot of birds with one, st uh, one stone. You know, he's getting people further and further out here to say that, um, 
<clears throat> the Israelites are going to be terrorists and whatnot, then you got people taken to the streets that's going to so-called spike up the COVID rate. All right, that's going to lead to even more lockdown. So Esau getting busy out here, but through the spirit, hey, we see what's going on, man. But you, uh, Jake's out here, hey, this could be twofold, man. It could be some simple-minded Jake that watch a couple videos, and then he thinks this is some type of carnal movement, man. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 25 uh, and 28, because you always got to look at both ends of the spectrum. It says, he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Because you got a lot of Jakes out here that's in that zealot mind state. And you got camps, all right, I'm not going to name them, but you know who they are. That come in that zealot, um, you know, spirit, man, all right? The flavors of the weeks, man. The guys that say that, you know, if the cops pull them over, they're going to they gonna get out the car and, you know, pull out straps. That zealot mentality, man. And that's what it seems like in that video from, um, you know, social media, man. You know, for you young men in this truth, man, you got to know how to control your spirit. This is not about being carnal and taking to the streets and marching, man. Because you're going you're gonna to get caught up in some funk, and that's going to be on you, man. The Lord ain't look, the Lord ain't protecting you. Uh, the Lord ain't protecting you in, in your folly, man. Exodus 14 and 14, the Lord, Yahweh, shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. You know, if you're in this truth and you're getting the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Hey, you should know what time we we in, man. There's certain situations you should not be in. You should not be in at no Black Lives Matter rally, man. All right? And it like I said, this whole thing, this whole shooting just looks like a psyop, man. Let's get that definition of psyop, man. I've been bringing this out a lot. It says psychological operations. Psych psychological operations, psyop, are operations to convey selected information and indicators to audiences to influence their emotions, motives, and objective reasoning, and ultimately the behavior of governments, organizations, groups, and individuals. And like I said, Esau's getting these people to go out there and riot. He could be creating a situation with this guy that got shot in Philly to, to lead to a second lockdown, man. You know, people taking the streets, they're not vaccinated. They're just out here being wild beasts. We need to get them vaccinated. We need to shut everything back down. But, uh, hey... But Jake, that say he waking up in the truth, man. He don't, he's not considering that, man. All right, because he's he's based he he's waking up, man. We're all, you know, young brothers like myself, man. I'm still a babe, man. But you gotta know, all right, <clears throat> when to be in certain situations, man. Let's go to um. Let me see um, what is that? This is uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, excuse me, thirty two and verse um. 11, you got to know what time to do things, man. All right, you got to move as a soldier of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Ecclesiastes 32 and 11. Rise rise up be times and be not the last, but get thee home without delay, man. Yeah, take your ass home when a situation is eerie, man. Not take to the streets. Like I said, this could be two ways. It could be a sob or it just could be some simple-minded Jake that know he's an Israelite. And he thinks pushing and shoving a couple of broke ass nineteen forty eighters, all right, in the streets of Philadelphia is, is doing the will of the Most High. No, all right, you're gonna blame the ministry for that, man. That's gonna be, hey, you you not you're not gonna be blameless, man. All right, you're just gonna be a simple minded Jake that know he's an Israelite, man. All right, this is um, and there's a lot of them out here, man. A lot of you simple-minded Israelites is joining Infect, joining Black Lives Matter, and you're further adding fuel to the fire this persecution, man. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Philippians 2 and 15, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. And I said it's cool because it's really not cool, but, you know, we just have to put that vibration out here that we're not carnal. And we have to keep doing the work, all right? Because we're going to be known by our fruits, all right? You you reap what you sow. If you out here at marches looking simple as hell, you reap what you sow, all right? You're going to get that reward. Hey, they're going to start unloading on people in these crowds pretty soon. Look what happened with Nigeria and SARS, man. They opened up fire on these people. And if you, I, you know, if you look at the, 
videos, man, people are getting their head busted wide open, man. So that's not in your best interest to be out there at a rally if you're an Israelite and you, and you see a couple of Jakes get shot down, man. The scriptures say whoever perish being innocent. That's judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, get that through your head first, man, Jake. Jake out here in that zealous mind state. But like I said, on the other end, it could be set up by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So let's get Revelation um, <clears throat> chapter 12, verse 13, I think it's verse 13, I believe. <clears throat> Revelation 12. And uh, I'm going to start verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Yeah, that's Esau Edom, man. The so-called white man. He's deceiving the whole world. And he's using his media to do it. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. All right, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of our anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And let's get that word, um, accuser, and the blue letter. All right. Psalms G2723. Categoreo. Categoreo. All right, categoreo. And when you go to that word, categoreo. It says to accuse before a judge to make accusation. All right, that basically goes into the word category, man. Esau is trying to categorize, categorize us into being some Black Lives Matter terrorist, which is nonsense, babe. But it says in um, verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimony, going out to the highways and byways and proclaiming Yahweh Shai, not going to a rally, Trying to kick a bunch of broke ass nineteen forty eighters, man. Okay, them little low life nineteen forty eighters. Hey, they just they don't they don't even they don't know no better, man. All right, they simple as all hell. All right, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. Hey, so with that, man, Lord, one that was edifying. I want to say shalom.